And welcome to the warm-up. I'm Mark Koontz. Matt Fink will be joining us shortly as we're at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Lima as we're here to talk Shawnee basketball, starting with the Shawnee head coach, Mark Triplett. And coach, first off, regular season finale coming up this Friday night, Wapakoneta. You guys are trying to, to pack the gym. I know you've got some, some special deals out there for folks to get in at a reduced price. Yeah, we're doing a one dollar uh, for the students, and we have some, you know, pizza that they're doing for them, and all kinds of prizes that have been donated. So um, we're trying to, to get some guys out for senior night and, and send our five seniors out. You know, have a little fun that night. Yeah, I'll look back on those five seniors. Also, I'll look forward to the Shawnee future for football with new football coach John Carpenter will be introduced in between games and. I, mean, I don't know if he'll necessarily guarantee a victory in 360-some days against Wapakoneta, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of excitement about having Coach Carpenter there. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the whole community, the, the whole school's excited about him, you know, with his background. Um, you know, we're, we're hopeful that our, our guys, you know, that toughens them up, not just for football but for, all, for other sports as well. So um, create, create some excitement for our program. Certainly an exciting matchup on Friday with Wapakoneta. Anytime Wapak and Shawnee get together, it's going to be a good game. And I think you look at the, the Wapakoneta-Shawnee matchup, I think you guys kind of match up pretty well. Um, you know, Wapak's playing really, really well. Um, you know, they're, they're trying to get over 500 in the league, um, and we're trying to, you know, tie them in the league. So it's a, it's a big game uh, for uh, purposes of getting some momentum going to the tournament as well. Um, you know, I think both teams probably feel like they match up pretty well with them. Um, we, we made a lot of shots when we went down there last year, and, and we beat them. But uh, they're playing really good basketball right now. They've been very competitive in even the games that they've lost. So, um, you know, I, I bet they feel like, you know, that they're going to come in and, and have a, a great chance to get a win heading into the tournament. And we're trying to get some momentum for the tournament and send our, our seniors off on their floor in, in style. 6-15 and 15 on the year, but 3-5 and five in the Western Buckeye League. You've been able to play tough teams in the WBL, tough non-conference schedule as well, but it seems like on Friday nights you really are playing guys tough and you've had some, some tight losses in that yeah. S that run. Uh, yeah, you know, we we played some teams better than others. Um, I think sometimes we, we step up to the level of our competition a little bit. Um, I thought we played pretty well on Friday night against – a defiance uh, and a tight loss and then um, you know we didn't play very well especially on the defensive end and Finley just you know they, they shot very very well which is a credit to them but um, you know we're just a little bit too inconsistent and that starts on the defensive end of the floor um, we, we've got to work harder we've got to rebound you know better and, and that comes to to boxing out we don't have a lot of size so um, we really need all five guys crashing the glass hard for us. Yeah, I mean, as you've seen throughout this year, scoring really hasn't been a problem with you. you got plenty of guys who can score. It's getting those stops on the defensive end that has kind of been the difference. Yeah, you know, we, we feel like um, we, we play an up-tempo style that we're going to score some points. Um, and when we're with that style, we're going to give up a little bit more points than most teams would in, with the styles that they play. But um, just consistently playing with effort on the defensive end of the floor has – has hurt us. Um, you know, when we do play well defensively, we're, we're not rebounding well. So it's been a combination of things. But uh, the good thing about basketball is, you know, you, you feel like you always have that, that next game. Um, we got another chance on Friday night. Um, and then, you know, it's tournament time. As you look back your second year here at Shawnee, what did you learn from that first year that is, that is maybe paying off your year two of the, the Mark Triplett era? Um, you know, we're not – have, have, having as much success as obviously you know you want to any any coach wants to win every game and, and we'd like to have a little bit better record than what we have right now but um, you know I think I have a, a good relationship with the kids and I think they know me a little bit better um, you know you get a little bit better feel for, for one another the longer you work together so um, you know I, I think that they they understand the things that we're trying to teach them as a coaching staff um, doesn't always show up in the results but I, I do think that we're getting better first year for this new sectional tournament format sends you all the way to Riverdale as the uh, the sixth seed you didn't have that much of a choice but uh, going all the way to Mount Blanchard you do get to face Kenton a team that you beat in the regular season uh, we, we played Kenton um, and, and Kenton played us very very tough that was down at their place I think we won by you know six points or something like that um, they got a you know, big boy on the inside that really, really hurt us on the boards. I think he had a double-double the first time we played. Uh, they have some guards that can shoot the basketball. So um, it was a very good basketball game, well-played league game, and, and it's going to be another very, very difficult tournament game. And, and the tournaments that we play in around here, uh, there is no such thing as an easy game. So um, our guys need to be ready to play. We can't think about the fact that oh, we beat Kenton the first time. That doesn't mean anything. So we, we've got to be ready to go come March 4th. You know, some of the Western Buckeye League teams a little bit more scattered, but your path to postseason run is going to go right through the WBL if you get past Kent and you've got St. Mary's waiting for you. Just what are your thoughts on, on the way this new super sectional has worked out so far for the Shawnee Indians? 
Uh, it was an interesting draw. Um, you know, the three and four seeds end up, you know, playing each other right right away there in the sectional final. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, there was a, a lot of, um, you know, interesting matches matchups in the first couple rounds of this thing. And uh, with, you know, league teams playing each other, there's going to be a lot of familiarity with, with who's playing each other. You're not really going to be able to, to surprise anybody with what you're doing. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens next week. What have you seen, who have you seen on your team kind of grow this year and really kind of mature and, and become, you know, the players that you expect them to be? Um, I, I think all our guys have, have done some good things throughout the course of the year. we got a couple uh, young guys, young sophomores that, you know, played uh, freshman basketball last year, JV basketball, and we've asked them to, to come up to the varsity level, and I think our sophomores has grown up a little bit this year. Um, I, I think that even our juniors that uh, didn't play varsity basketball last year um, ha have done a nice job for us. We, we've had a lot of guys, you know, we only had four letter winners uh, come back this year. So, uh, you know, we have seniors that have never played varsity basketball and they're getting their feet wet here and th throughout the course of the year and they've been giving us better minutes. So, um, you know, I, I can't really say anybody, one guy, one, two guys that have really stood out to me, but, but I think that any given night we have guys that can show up and produce for us. You like where you're at going into uh, the last season, last week of the regular season, into the postseason? Uh, Record-wise, I don't like where we're at, but uh, you know you can't do anything about that. Once the game's over, you got to move on from it, and we're just hoping to grow from that. But um, you know, I, I thought we had a good week of practice last week. I thought that carried into um, a tough game at Defiance. I thought we played pretty well and competed pretty hard. Um, you know, we got a very tough game on Friday night that we're hoping we come out uh, with some energy and play well on Senior Night for so. Um, you know, I, I'm always confident in the guys that we have on the floor. Um, we need to be a little bit more consistent with our effort, and I think we're going to be fine. All right. Thank you very much, Mark Triplett. Yeah, need to take a break time. here on the warm-up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down with a couple of the Shawnee players as they get ready for walking out on Friday night. This presentation is brought to you by Cypher Dorian's Funeral Home. We are proud to help support tonight's tournament show and our local athletes and programs. Good luck to all athletes this postseason. And by State Bank & Trust is proud to be part of the Lima community and part of tonight's tournament preview show, always supporting our area schools and programs. You're watching the West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up at Buffalo Wild Wings. Joined now by three Shawnee seniors. It is Angelo Fox to my left, David Fox in the middle, and Jaquan Tucker on the end. Angelo, let's start with you. Big senior night coming up on Friday. You guys are hosting Wapak. What are you looking forward to about your last home game as a Shawnee Indian? Uh, this, oh, I'm just trying to get it. And I guess end our, end our season well, get a W on our court in our last home game. David, sounds like you guys are trying to get a big crowd there on Friday night. What would it mean to you to play a good game and get a victory in your final home game as a Shawnee Indian? Uh, I think it would be great, you know, give us energy for the tournament, get ready, good season. Jaquan, you'll be taking on Wapak on Friday night and Western Buckeye League, very tough this year. What do you, what do you like about playing in such a competitive conference? Just the level of competition. At any night, anybody can come out on top. Yeah. Angelo, you guys are also preparing for Kenton coming up. That'll be your sectional semifinal game. What do you think the keys are going to be to get a victory against Kenton? Uh, defensively, we just have to be there, rotate, stuff like that. David, you guys beat Kenton earlier in the year. It was a 62-56 win back in uh, January. What did you learn in that game that hopefully will help you come this uh, tournament game? Uh, I think we played really well, played together, communicated. Just got to bring it for next game, be prepared. Jaquan, what, what about you? Do you remember that game against Kenton, and uh, are you going to use it as motivation to get the victory in the tournament? Uh, yes, we uh, didn't rebound well that game, so that's what we're looking to do better this game. Andrew, what do you think the strengths of, of this year's team are? Strengths. We have, I'd say, is our guards. We have pretty quick guards. 
who could shoot, you know, threes in their range. Yeah, David, this team likes to get up and down the floor, score a lot of points. Is is that something that comes from practice, or ha does Coach stress that? How did, how did that come about? Yeah, we're just a really fast team. You know, we work on speed. We don't have much size, but we use our speed for our advantage. Jaquan, what's, what's an area you'd like to see the team in, improve before – the tournament gets started. I mean, you only have one more game left, obviously, but there's got to be some room for improvement. Uh, on the defensive end. On the defensive side of the ball? Yeah. And what what would you like to do defensively? Is it pressure? Is it uh, – what 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 specifically? Our help side is pretty bad, so that's what we need to work on. Okay, well, you guys will have that game against Wapak to prepare, and best of luck in the tournament. Thank you for joining us on the warm-up. Time for a break here from Buffalo Wild Wings. When we come back, I'm going to be joined by three more Indians. Thanks, guys. This presentation is brought to you by State Bank and Trust. State Bank and Trust, proud to be a part of the Lima community and part of tonight's tournament preview show, always supporting our area schools and programs. And by Dominion. Tonight's basketball tournament show is brought to you by Dominion, a proud supporter of many area programs and communities, wishing all programs much success. My wife's drinking bothers me, but I'm finding support and understanding at Al-Anon Family Groups. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? Call 1-888-4-ALANON or visit alanonfamilygroups.org. Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings. We've got three more Shawnee basketball players here. Malachi Ward to my left, a senior. We've got Zach Casey in the middle, a junior and junior Griffin Heights on the end. Malachi, let's start with you. I was talking to the other guys, all seniors, and you've got senior night coming up on Friday night. What are you looking forward to about your contest with Wapak? Uh, just a great game, you know, just the fans to be there, you know, the energy, atmosphere. It's, it's going to be a fun fun day. Zach taking on Wapak and Western Buckeye League, so competitive. What do you like about playing in, in a league that challenges you every Friday night? Uh, really, it's just every single night, you know, you're going to get the best out of your opponent. Um, just going at it, you know, just try to get the outcome that you can. Just working as hard as you can. Griffin, what's practices like with uh, Coach Triplett? Oh, Coach Triplett, he, uh, he likes to run. He likes to run. We messed up one time. We're running stairs, running a few laps on the stairs. It's uh, high energy. He always wants us to get after it, no matter if we're warmed up or not. From the opening uh, drill to the end, we got to get after it all the time. And Malachi, I think that speaks to your style of play. You guys like to run up and down the floor. Oh, yeah. Is that something that coach stresses? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we got to run a fast game because, you know, we're, we're, we're a pretty small team. So, you know, we got to go fast and we're an up-tempo up team. Zach, what's uh, the difference between a tournament game and a regular season game? Is it the atmosphere? What's the big difference? Uh, well, this is going to be my first tournament game. But, yeah, definitely, I mean, it's when I go home. You know, it's a big, it's a big stage. Uh, you got to give it your all every night, every play. Griffin, taking on Kenton, you guys will be, and you played them already. What did you learn from that first matchup? You remember it? Oh, we learned. Kenton, Kenton is a physical team. Uh, they like to rebound. They like to do all the dirty work. And we got to match their physicality early on in the game and continue it throughout the game. Uh, with Kenton, we hit a lot of shots in the game, I feel like. We just got to come out. We got to play better defense than last time, and we got to just play solid basketball. Malachi, the other guys talked about getting better defensively. Is that an area you'd like to improve before the tournament game? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, especially the uh, help side. You know, if somebody gets beat off, I'm there, and I can trust that my teammate, uh, you know, can help me out on the back side. So, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Best of luck as you wind down the regular season and get ready for the tournament. That's going to do it on this edition of the warm-up. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. Thanks for joining us from Buffalo Wild Wings. This presentation is brought to you by Cypher Dorian's Funeral Home. We are proud to help support tonight's tournament show and our local athletes and programs. Good luck to all athletes this postseason. And by State Bank and Trust is proud to be part of the Lima community and part of tonight's tournament preview show, always supporting our area schools and programs. He fought against cruelty and injustice, but his greatest fight was against mental illness. Even icons struggle. Only the great ones keep going.
You're watching the West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. And welcome to the warm-up from Buffalo Wild Wings. We are joined by Elida head coach Denny Thompson. I'm Matt Finkel. Thank you for joining us, Coach Thompson. And talk about the Elida basketball season as you guys get ready for tournament action, which will get started next week. Started slow, did, did you guys, this year. Started 0-5, but since then you seem to be playing much better basketball. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we started out the season uh, unhealthy. Uh, we had some injuries early, and then combine that with trying to play sophomores that, you know, with their first varsity experience, it was it was quite a chore early in the season. Um, we fought that off a little bit. We got some wins there across Christmas, and then really started to play some pretty good basketball for a, for a stretch there, and uh, it was really good to get Austin Allmeyer healthy again. Uh, it, it was a bad injury, and, and uh, it, it wasn't just getting back to, to uh, uh, being able to play with him. It, it was getting his skill level back again because he, he really went a long time and did not was, wasn't able to go. So right. um, getting him healthy, uh, uh, Drew Sarno is also out for the first part and then you know, lack of experience on his part too. So uh, and, and now, now we're towards the end of the season, we are healthy, and, and all of a sudden the sophomores aren't sophomores anymore. And uh, we're trying to get, uh, get it back going again and, and uh, make a strong run here down the stretch. Nine and ten on the season, four and four in the Western Buckeye League. It's very competitive all season long, and you're in a very WBL heavy district. Obviously, is that an advantage to be in a postseason bracket with your basically your entire league, or a disadvantage in your mind? Well, it's it's, it's a better year this year because we are in the super sectional. Right. It's not it's the just first year. it's not just the WBL tournament. Yes. Um, that that's that's just so difficult, to, especially when in the, in that bracket, you know, you're you've got several teams you've already played twice with the tip off the way it is. So, uh, just really hard to, to to play a team three times and and, and, and not know have the outcome be good. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed this setup better than I have in the past, but. Uh, Still, you've got the WBL teams there, and uh, you've got, you're going to have to play them all. You're awaiting the winner of Tiffin Columbian and Bath. What do you know about Tiffin Columbian? And I'm assuming you know Bath very well. Do you have a preference? Uh, you know, when you get to this point, you've got to beat them all. So uh, it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, we, we've just got to get ready. We've got to do what we can do to, to prepare for them. Uh, it's always nice to play somebody you haven't played. Uh, and Tiffin... Colombians got, uh, they really do have a decent group. They've got some nice size. They've got a kid that's coming back from an injury from last year that's not too bad. Uh, I'd say that their weakness is their, their guard play, but uh, we've seen them play once, and we'll see them play again, obviously, against Bath. So uh, it, it doesn't matter to me who it is. We just have to take care of ourselves. Well, before that game, you'll have a couple of tune-ups, and these will be difficult games against good teams in Salina and Lima Central Catholic this Friday and Saturday. What are you going to take out of those two games in, in preparing for the tournament? Well, our, our approach is that we, we need to play well. Uh, whether we win or lose doesn't really matter at this point. And, and yes, we want to win. But uh, more importantly, we like, we'd like to get ourselves playing better basketball. So uh, our approach to this weekend, uh, we're on the road twice. In fact, we're, we're on the road the last four games, which that in itself you know, is, is a nice entry into the yeah. tournament. And, uh, you know, playing two quality teams like we are this weekend, uh, we really do need to be playing well to even compete. And this isn't anything new. You guys have had a tough schedule all year long, even in the non-conference. Is, is that something that you look to to help maybe get your guys ready for this time of year? I know that, that that's something that in the past we've talked about. I think if you go back six years uh, uh, previous to this, we've, you know, each year we've strengthened our schedule. And uh, I, I think it's done a nice job preparing our guys for, for the tournament run and, and we've had some nice tournament success so hopefully we can take what we've done you know with our schedule and, and, and we've been competitive uh, at certain parts of the season we've been very competitive so uh, hopefully we can take what we've learned through that uh, that schedule and uh, you know make, make some things happen for us in the tournament. What would you say the strength of your team is the biggest strength of your team is at, the, at this point in the season? Um, I, I think what we've been able to do is we've, be, we've become a better defensive team. In, in our uh, approach to the start of the season where we were 0-5, uh, we didn't defend anybody. And uh, 
I think the kids understood that. Kids have worked hard at trying to become a better defensive team, and I think we have. Uh, the other part of it would be, and it goes along with being a better defensive team, is, is our ability to rebound. Uh, we've got it to the point now where we are actually uh, out rebounding our opponents for, uh, on the average. And uh, those two things are, are really in the past, that's the, been our strengths and, and to our success. Uh, and, and we're trying to make that uh, our strengths here, too. On the flip side of that, what's an area you'd like to see improvement in these two games over the weekend before you hit the tournament? You know, it's the mental aspect of the game, I think, that we've really got to work on because we we have shot free throws very poorly here in the last probably five or six games. And, you know, you, we have no margin of error. So we have to take those opportunities to score when the clock stopped, and we've got to become better free throw shooting team. Um, and then uh, our execution in the half court uh, has been uh, getting better, and it's, it's something, too, we have to be able to do and, and make adjustments because we, we have now seen zone more here in the last – second half of the season and uh, you know we haven't had the experience of going against zones so uh, those two things uh, as far as what improvements we need to make here down the stretch are what we're looking at when you have a young team like you do I'm sure you see a lot of growth from guys who are some guys that stand out to you that have really come a long way throughout this regular season well we're playing four sophomores a lot uh, and Drew Sarno who got a late start Peyton Smith also at the perimeter and then Balen Stinson and uh, Jazz Howell. You know, those guys, uh, you know, actually in any other year in the last six years would still be playing JV ball because, you know, we were that strong at the top. So uh, it's, it's been a, a – the, the growth curve has been very, very strong with those guys. And uh, I, I think that the thing that they had ability-wise, they've all got ability. But, you know, when you go from JV to varsity, you have to – realize and learn how to play hard mm -hmm. and I think they've realized that and I think they've all gotten better at playing hard but you know there's levels you know it's like I think they've been done with games going by I played harder that game but you got to go to the next level right now. so that's the growth that I think I've seen is their understanding of what it takes to be competitive at the varsity level yeah it's always I mean when you play in the Western Buckeye League for one each game is it's a dog fight it feels like so they got to learn to to grow that way before we let you go last question for you what do you love about this time of year I know why I love this time of year but for, for you as a coach and, and getting ready for the, the tournament, what do you like about it? Well, it's a little different this year. I mean, the last three years, we've been right down to the crunch time with the WBL championship on the line. Uh, this year, it's not in terms of our WBL championship, but we can still have a say in the WBL championship. Right. So that's one thing we're kind of pushing to the kids. But, uh, yeah, that the, 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 you know, the league countdown has been really fun to, in, the, in the past years. But this year, you know, I, I love the tournament time. Uh, and you, you can't beat experience. And, again, that's one of the things that we're lacking is that tournament experience, too. So that's you know, something we've got to rely on our seniors that have been there before because, you, you, really, all you have to do is be, you, know, you want to be playing well at the end of the season. But if you can get things going, you, know, you can make, make them run. Yeah, it's all about getting hot at right. the right time. Right. Well, thank you for joining us. Best of luck to you. Elida opens up play on Friday, March the 6th, against either Tiffin Columbian or bad. Time for a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Mark Kuntz will join us and sit down with some of the Bulldog players. This presentation is brought to you by State Bank and Trust. State Bank and Trust, proud to be a part of the Lima community and part of tonight's tournament preview show, always supporting our area schools and programs. And by Dominion. Tonight's basketball tournament show is brought to you by Dominion, a proud supporter of many area programs and communities. Wishing all programs much success. Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Mark Jones as we continue the warm-up talking Elida Bulldog basketball. Joined now by three of the seniors, Austin Allmeyer, Clark Etzler, and Patrick Brocker down on the end. And obviously, guys, injuries were a big story of this season, particularly beginning of the year. But since that 0-5 start, I mean, a 9-5 run since then, you guys have gotten into that right rhythm. Austin, do you like where you're at going into the final weekend of the season? Well, obviously, we're, we're playing a lot better than what we were at the beginning of the year. We're hitting strides at the right time, and we're happy with where we're at. Clark, a big challenge on Friday, traveling down to uh, Salina. They've already clinched at least a share of the WBL title. You guys have already had the senior night. You finish up the season on the road. Is that a good way to kind of finish up the year, to, to put that stuff away and now just concentrate on these last couple games? Yeah, you know, I like it a lot. Um, 
I mean, it's always – I like going in as an underdog. I mean, it would be nice to be able to knock off that team that's way ahead of you in WBL. And uh, it would be good, especially for our team going to the tournament play. Patrick, obviously you're one of those guys who has battled some injuries throughout your career at Elida. You're finally healthy now as a senior. How good has this been the last couple of weeks? Has you been able to contribute and really make a difference? Oh, it's just awesome. I just, uh, yeah, I've been through so many injuries, and it's just really nice being healthy and uh, getting to play with my teammates and making a difference on the basketball court. You know, Austin, obviously we've talked to a lot of coaches about this new super sectional format. For Elida, that means you guys get a bye, and you get to sit back and watch Tiffin Columbian and Bath. You don't necessarily have to travel that far to Lima Senior. From a player's perspective, does this new format really affect you guys too much? Um, not too much. Uh, I see it, it's really just like the other one. Uh, I mean, it's nice getting a bye and everything. So in that perspective, then it, I mean, it's good for a player. Clark, do you have a preference between Bath or Tiffin Columbian? Um, for me, I'd rather have Bath just because we lost to him two times already, and I feel like we can get him this third time. It's kind of that revenge feeling that <clears throat> I want to play against them again, and it would be great to come back and beat them once. Patrick, as you look ahead to this week and before we get into the postseason, Salina and then LCC, two really good teams. Is this a good way to test your, you guys going into the postseason then? Oh, yeah, they're definitely two tough teams, and uh, I think that uh, all of us have a team are really looking forward to having this test and seeing what we can do with the two teams going into the tournament. All right, need to take a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, more from the Elida Bulldogs and Buffalo Wild Wings in Lima here on WOSA. If you're one of the 15 million Americans with food allergies, you might be anxious about dining out. Well, you don't have to be. Visit safefair.org for information and resources to help you enjoy a safer restaurant experience. A public service message from Food Allergy Research and Education. You're watching the West Ohio Sports Network, WOSN. Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings as we wrap up the warm-up. Heard from three Bulldog seniors. Now here from a couple of the underclassmen on Elida's basketball team. Drew Sarno down at the end. He's a sophomore. Josh Press, the three-point shooter in the middle. He's a junior. And next to me, Jazz Howell, another sophomore. Jazz such a, a rough start to the season because of injuries. Did that force you younger guys to kind of step up and, and really try and find your role on this team then? Yeah, we had to step up, do bigger parts, do bigger things. You know, with Austin, he hurt his ankle in the first couple of weeks. He had to step it up at practice, be a little bit more responsible without Austin. It'd take up a bigger role. That's all it was to it. You know, Josh, there's been some great outside shooters that you lied over the years, and, and you've really had a fantastic season behind the three-point arc. Did you think you'd be able to do that type of stuff this year? Uh, yes, I did from the beginning. Coach always told me to shoot the ball, and that's what I want to do. Drew, you guys are starting to play a little bit better right now. Is there some confidence going into this last weekend, going into the postseason? Yeah, I think so. We've grown. I think we've gotten a lot better over the season, and we've matured a lot. So I think we're pretty ready for the postseason now. Obviously, we've got Salina on Friday, LCC on Saturday. Drew, of the two, is, are, are there either one of those games you're looking more forward to, or is it just focus on Salina because that's the game on Friday? Um, I think we're more focused on Salina right now. It's a WBL game. want to get that done first, and then after that we'll look forward to Saturday and hope to get a good win there. Josh, as you look at the Salina team, where do you think there might be some areas where you can guys maybe find some ways to exploit some weaknesses for Salina? Um... I think if we move the ball and play good defense, then we'll be good and we'll get a W. Jazz, after that, you've got LCC on Saturday. Then you guys get to sit back and wait and see who you're going to play in the right. sectional championship game. You've already seen Bath twice this year. They've beat you guys two times. Do you, do you want to see Bath a third time in the postseason? You know, if we see Bath again, you know, it's not just going to be a, any regular old game. You know, that's two losses we've taken from Bath, and we're here to beat them. That's all it comes down to. All right, so the Elida Bulldogs in a little bit of a wait mode as they will find out who they will play in the postseason next week. But they got two big games this weekend, and of course we'll have highlights from this contest coming up on the Sports Board. I want to thank all of our guests from Elida, and for Matt Pinkle, I'm Mark Hoots. We'll see you next time on the warm-up.